Hello, this is Tov from Trifle Protect with another Belinda quick tip. And this quick tip is based on a uh, subscriber's request, Pure Geek. Let me pull that up here. I did a tutorial on the Sniper add on, and he was wanting to see if there was a newer version of the Sniper add on to using 2.8. But I mentioned to him that there isn't an updated version of that, so we're going to go into Commotion, which is the only one that I've seen that is free that can be used as motion graphics. In Blender 2.8. So this is for you, Pure Geek. Uh, so let's uh, open up Blender using Blender 2.81. And I think this is like I don't know the tenth time I've recorded this tutorial. The software keeps crashing. There's something keeps going on, but we just got to keep pressing on. Let's press delete on our keyboard. Let me bring up my screencast keys. Screencast. Activate that. Make sure that's working. All right. Close that out. Then we're going to go to Shift A on our keyboard, and from the pop-up menu, let's click on Text. And now we're going to press 7 on our keyboard to get a top view of what we're looking at. Let's hold down our Shift and our middle mouse button to, uh, oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's my children coming in. I thought I had some time to work on this stuff before they came back, but apparently that's not the case, but I'm going to keep on going. Uh, so we're going to position, reposition our text here so it can be in the middle. And then we're going to go to View. And we're going to go to Align View. And then from the pop up menu, click on the Align Active Camera to View. We're just going to have to ignore the bell. That's my son. He's three years old, so he's ringing the bell constantly so I can open up the door for him. But my wife's out there to help him open up the door. Once we've got our text here, uh, once we press on tab, you can see that this text is it's, it's curved, it's not a mesh. If we want to change this into a mesh, we can use the commotion add-on. So let's click on tab, get out of edit mode. I'm going to close it off for a second. Hold on for a second, everyone. Okay, I'm, I'm back again. Hopefully, my children don't burst in here, but they probably will but I've just got to keep going I've been recording this tutorial for about the past three hours and it's just been messing up so I'm just gonna keep going so we've got the text here I want to convert this text from the curve into um, uh, to a mesh so click on object and from object object the pop-up menu go to convert to and then mesh from curve click on tab and it turns into a, a mesh which is what we need in order for this add-on to work and from there we're going to go to our object data properties on the right hand side let's left click on that let's click on plus to add a shape key property to it and another one this one the second one we can uh, manipulate so that's what we're going to do now let's press tab on our keyboard press H to select everything the whole mesh and then S zero so that this basically just disappears and you can tell that it's been the uh, shape key has been added by clicking and dragging on this uh, hey Sophia hold on <laughs> uh, day's almost finished <laughs> uh, let's uh, click on tab get out of um, get out of uh, Edit mode. Oh, hey, Lucas. <laughs> hey, hold on. Okay. Hey, hold on, Daddy's. Yes. Yeah, Daddy's got to work on. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Let Daddy finish. Let Daddy finish. Hold on. Um. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, it's my son, and my wife, and my daughter. But see, I'm just going to finish this. Hold on, Lucas. Let Daddy finish. All right. Uh, hold on, not on the lap yet, Lucas. Dad's got to finish this tutorial. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Lucas. Wait, wait. <laughs> um, okay, let me try to finish this uh, tutorial. My son wants to on my lap, so let me try to finish this. So now we've t uh, added, added a shape key to our mesh here. And if we, let me see, mess with the value of it, you can see that the shape key is working. The next thing you want to do is... Oh, mom's got Daddy something. Daddy tells mommy to talk to me. Okay, okay. Daddy, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, you got the lamp there. 
So we're going to click on this arrow to have that pop out and go to that commotion add-on which is on the right side of our user interface. Uh, click on the shape keys um, option there. Let that twirl down. Click on refresh. Oh, sorry about that. Before you do all any of that, make sure you turn off relative because we don't want the native uh, software for animating the texture in Blender to affect the commotion uh, add-on. And then generate, click on refresh again, and then generate keyframes. And we're going to pull this up. And it's giving us keyframes here. And when you play it, you can see nothing happens. When I first did this tutorial, this worked properly. But for some reason, once again, it's acting up. But that's why it's good to go through arrows so you can troubleshoot. So we're going to hover our, our mouse over here. When it turns to a plus sign, let's pull this down. And from there, let's click on uh, this icon here and go to the graph editor. Click on that. And then let's pull this down. Now, for some reason, this add-on has put these two uh, shape keys on the same line, which it shouldn't, should be, it shouldn't be on the same axis at all. If that happens to you, because what it's supposed to do is put one shape key at the bottom, another shape key at the top, according to how we animated the uh, shape key on this end to give it that growth. But if this happens to you, all you have to do is press A and click on one shape key and G and Z just to pull this down. And then once you've done that, you play it through. Now the text is working properly. That's how it's supposed to work. But every add-on has its own problems, has its own issues. Just have to learn how to troubleshoot it to get the correct results that you would want. And now that we've had this uh, activated, or working properly, let me say, let's press A on our keyboard twice. And that highlights both because we want to have it expand and then retract like a pop-up. As I was saying, once you've done that, my screen, my software just crashed, so I'm going to do get this last part done. But once you've done that, press A, A again. Keyboard working? Okay. Turn to my screencast keys. I can see the keys I'm pressing. So we're going to press A, A again to highlight all this. Then Shift D to duplicate it. Just grab it along the X axis. It want this to be reversed because we want it to be like a pop up. You, it pops up and then it dis disappears. So S X minus one, enter. And then when you press play, it appears, then it disappears. And that's the first phase of using the commotion add-on in Blender to do motion graphics. So I apologize for all the interruptions, but you know, just got thank God I got through the whole thing. And for the next um, the next phase of this series of tutorials, we'll get into more advanced uses of motion graphics when it comes to the commotion add-on. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys who have subscribed, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.